Welcome to the Retail Innovation Club on the Hood series where we check out the most promising retail tech companies in the ecosystem. Now today, we're going to look at Kaj Robotics, which offers a good-to-person solution for unit picking to increase order picking efficiency and storage warehouse capacity. Now, if you don't know what it means, come check it out. And we're joined now by Dr. Ilan Cohen, the CEO and Chairman of Kaja Robotics. Nice Dr. to be with you. Nice to have you here. So, Ilan, tell us a little bit more about what you actually do. Kaja Robotics is in a field that we call automatic warehouse. In a warehouse in general, you have a lot of place that you need automation. And today, the place where Kaja is working is in what we call in the picking area. In fact, when people order some good, if e-commerce or retail, you need to take pieces or units from a warehouse and to bring it out in order to achieve the order that you fulfill. And today, this kind of action or this kind of market is growing like hell. And Kaja is in the field of uh, automatic warehouse. And uh, today, this is, the, this is the main market that is growing like crazy. It's an exponential growth, and, and why? Because the need of automation is a must today, and it's not a nice to have. And we, as Kaja, we provide automation in a warehouse. Now, warehouse is something that we can define with three areas. The first area that the goods enter the warehouse is not part of Kaja business. The last part is where we do packaging. It's not the Kaja business. In the middle, we call it the picking area, where Kaja provides the automation there. I will explain it a little bit more now. In fact, let's see what's happening in a warehouse. We, the warehouse receive orders, and we need to fulfill the orders as general as a warehouse management, not Kaja warehouse management. And in order to do that, today, the main hard work is to go to pick from the order and to take the unit from a specific place or specific box and to take it out and to pack it for the e-commerce order or the retail order. And that is a very difficult work to do for a human being. Today, people are doing that, but it's extremely difficult. They are walking 15 miles per day. They're taking heavy stuff. And more, you cannot find people to do this work. And now, why? For three reasons. One, the e-commerce is going like uh, every, every year, 25% Growing. even more. Now with the COVID, even much more. We see it in different market segments, grocery, fashion, e-commerce, 3PL, uh, uh, healthcare, everywhere the, the e-commerce is growing, but also the retail is a sort of, re, uh, of e-commerce uh, already. Because uh, you, when you see the retail store, they're also, they don't want to order a box of t-shirt, black t-shirt and a block for white t-shirt. They really want to have three pieces here and four pieces here. Right. Then retail and e-commerce come and began to be more as uh, one, the, exactly the same thing. And now the, the, the weight and the, the stress on the people in the warehouse is even more because they need to work very hard to take all the units for the retail and the e-commerce. And as I said before, Corona even accelerated that. And we, as Kaja, we help the people to become in a much better job than what they're doing today. The robot will replace the hard work because the robot will replace the, the, the people that are running in the warehouse, taking the unit from the boxes. But the people can do the do the babysitter of the robot. They can, do, they can have a much more interesting job in order to be more like any revolution in, in the world, like Charlie Chaplin 40 years ago. And now the, you, you need to take out the hard work of the people and to give them much better work. And we believe that Kaja not only is a need for everybody, but also we take out something that was difficult for the man, and now we replace it by automation. Okay, so in terms of automation, obviously, the world is increasingly moving into that direction. Robotics are everywhere, implemented in warehouses and in stores. How, how does Kaja Robotics compare to yes. other companies in this field? First of all, we're an automation warehouse existing now 20 years ago, but with what we call element, stiff element, not, not so much robotics. Robotics is something new. We call it MR solution. This is something new because the trend is going uh, with robotics. Why? Because robotics give a, pro a solution that is much more flexible, much more also uh, adequate for existing warehouse and not only new warehouse. Also, you can increase the doing extension in warehouse by only dropping robotics and you have another part of your robot that is already uh, with uh, some extension. All that, Kaja answer these needs. 
Now, also our solution is a cloud-based solution. Everything, the, the, the brain of the, our solution is in the cloud. It's like, uh, you know, the manufacturing 4.0, we call it warehouse 4.0. Why? Because all the intelligence is in the cloud and we can see the warehouse as one entity. We can do traffic management of the robot, we can do uh, inventory management, we can do optimization of the warehouse all the time in real time, we can do cycle kind, we can do consolidation, that means one piece of the software in the cloud can see everything that's happening in real time and also do prediction what will happen in the warehouse in order to put the, the fleet of robots in order to optimize the order fulfillment. And this is something that robotics is in the warehouse. Of course, robotics is everywhere today. But this kind of field is quite new to put it in warehouse. And we believe that Caja will address the, the needs of the company. Now, how, what stage of deployment are you at at this point? I think if you ask me the question, two years ago, we were a startup company. We are not anymore a startup company. We did the first deployment two years ago to be sure that our system is totally stable and mature. And we, we are really proud that uh, the first uh, go live that we did in New Jersey is working in real time perfectly. And even more, now this company is even increasing uh, Caja inside the warehouse uh, in, in another project and, and we'll have many other with them. In, uh, when we did that, we, and the COVID just entered in the, in the game, we, we say what we will do. And then we start in Israel uh, to find also maybe in Israel we can provide our uh, automatic warehouse and we succeed to have at least two uh, uh, companies in Israel, customer, one is a triple and one is in the grocery, where we applied and we are deploying our system already. But in parallel, it's the first time in my life that we can do some business in Zoom and we succeed to, to close two very big, uh, um, uh, or you call it, uh, agreement with uh, company in the States, uh, in the fashion industry and the shoes industry. And we are now in the process to implement that also in the state. That means Caja now we are in about seven implementation deployment that we are doing now, between five to seven. And then uh, we are expecting to have another two to three to four until the end of the year. Is going exponential, and that is really nice to have a company that's going exponential. We have revenue. We have uh, the next year will be double, even more than last year. That means something incredible. It's a nice story. Do you find there's more pickup in certain sectors as opposed to others? Like you mentioned that there is in the fashion industry, for example, in retail. Um, is there is there more pickup there? You find no. more potential? Yes. Uh, that, oh, again, thanks for the question as well. Uh, we. Caja, the solution is based on building block that can be adapted to specific market segment. And that is the beauty in our solution. I, I'm a little bit enthusiastic, but I like what I'm doing. That is really something that uh, really provides the solution for every market with some adaptation. And we don't care about the adaptation because in general, the adaptation is in the cloud and it's easy to do. We can go in 3PL. We can go to fashion, we can go to grocery, we can go to healthcare. Everything with small modification or addition feature, we can go from one to another one. And Caja also going to existing warehouse. We call it brownfield. That means you don't need to change all your warehouse and to find a new warehouse. We enter nearly without, near, nearly without any changes. We can enter in a warehouse, putting the robot, and it's working. It's really nearly plug and play and something that is really nice in our solution. We didn't believe that uh, about this plug and play story until the Corona came. And the first implementation was in January in California. And we could not fly. It. And we say, wow, how we will do the first deployment in California with a huge company? And we say, okay, let's try. And we did it by remote, having some American people with one week training, that's it. And we succeed to do the first deployment and it was a success story. We were, we, were, we were maybe lucky, but I think we were also proving that our te technology is really by remote, is really nearly plug and play. Okay. And, you know, it sounds like you guys are taking over the world. Where do you see yourselves now, say, five to ten years from now? Can you imagine? Uh, it's a little bit difficult, but <laughs> let's try. <laughs> uh, I think we want to be leader in the AMR solution. AMR is the, the robotic in the warehouse. I think we can. Uh, we have everything in place to do it. The, the market is huge, 95% is manual, and everybody wants to go uh, uh, automation. That means we don't see any really real competition, hard competition, I think, the place for everybody. Our solution, I think people like it because it's simple, flexible, we can, the deployment is very fast, um, the, if you want to do extension, it's very fast, you can start small and then extension, you can work on existing warehouse, 
and, and, and the, the box is existing boxes, the shelf is existing shelf. That means it's more easy, we believe, for the customer to adapt Kaha solution. And we can be a leader not in five years, but in one or two years already. That is our plan. Well, I look forward to seeing that. Thank you very much, Dr. Eli Cohen. Thank you very much.